the eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. Upon arriving at Calvary, Jesus freely submits himself to be nailed to the cross. Huge, rough nails are driven to his hands and feet, fixing them to the wood of our salvation. The pain is excruciating. The surrender is total. At this station, we are struck with the absolute and complete submission of Jesus. He was completely willing to drink the bitter cup of suffering so that we might be saved. It is hard to imagine there being no fight for self-preservation on the part of Jesus. Our minds are incapable of grasping this mystery, for we cannot fathom the infinite depth of His love. It is a powerful lesson for us. We know from hard experience that submitting totally to anyone is always difficult. But here, Jesus shows us how. He had warned us that persecution would be the lot of His followers. He further told us not only to expect to be persecuted, but to willingly accept it and to do so joyfully. Blessed are those persecuted for holiness' sake, for the reign of God is theirs. And blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of slander against you because of me. Be glad and rejoice, for your reward is great in heaven. What does he mean? How can such suffering be a blessing? The word blessed in Jesus' language meant being at peace, joyful, and filled with grace. If, like Him, we can love the Father and one another enough to totally submit to suffering and harassment for the sake of the faith, He promises we will experience a deep and abiding peace and joy that the world cannot understand. Think of the saints, particularly the martyrs, who all seem to have met death with peace and joy, in total submission, radiant with an unearthly glory. Lord Jesus, I am often called to totally submit myself to others. Help me be faithful in my surrenders, and let the nails that hold me to my crosses be ones of love, self-sacrifice, and the willingness to be your perfect disciple.